Hey guys, welcome to the Ultimate Post Kit add-in tutorials. In today's video, we will demonstrate how you can easily create and customize a blog archive page with your favorite Ultimate Post Kit add-in. For this video, we will go for a detailed archive page with lots of parts in it so you can see what you can do easily in minutes. First, go to your WordPress dashboard. Hover over the Ultimate Post Kit menu and click on the Template Builder option. Then click on Add New Button. Now from the top, select Archive, add a name, and set the status to Active. Click on the Create Template button, and it takes you to the page editor. Now, if you have a navigation menu for your blog page, that's awesome. If not, you can go into the Page Settings and select Elementor Canvas and build everything from scratch. Fast forwarding the menu part. All right, now add two containers Flexbox inside the page, from layout, making one bigger than the other. Now we are putting the Paradox slider widget from Ultimate Post Kit inside the bigger part, stretching the container to fit it perfectly. Also, we did a little editing to change the slider layout and navigation a bit. Then put Herald List in the right container, changing the image size and one column layout then limit the item counts. We also removed the borders and then customized the padding, row gap, column gap, etc. to match the list height to the slider height. Then added padding to the container on top, bottom, left, and right. Next, add a double column container below. Let's put a heading to the right container. Style it, then adding a divider right below, also customizing it a bit. After that, we are placing the Featured List widget from Ultimate Post Kit below it, just pasting the interface style from a demo here, changing the image size, and then we will customize the query to show selected posts in it. Also increasing the item limit to 5. Now, we can make the container a bit smaller to 40% width to shrink the list a little, making the right container 60% at width then placing Alice Grid of Ultimate Post Kit in it. We are also pasting a demo style on the grid here. Then again, adding another single Flexbox container below, customizing the padding values first. We are also putting the heading and divider from above. Now we are putting the Alter Grid widget in this container. Same as before, changing the image dimension and query settings with Include Filter option. Also pasting the widget style from Demo. Then let's add another double container flex box below, configuring the container padding. Now putting the Herald List widget on the left side container. Same as before, changing to one column layout and pasting the style from Demo also configuring the query to show specific post categories. Then placing another container on the right. Let's put a heading in there. In this part, we will show tags. So search and drag the tag cloud widget by Ultimate Post Kit under the heading, pasting a widget style from demo as well. Then placing the banner widget from Post Kit under the tags. Here, you can add a special advertisement or a board to show one of your lead magnets. We are putting the banner image, adjusting the item height to show the full image, and then changing the texts as well as text colors, just basic tweakings and it's ready to roll. 
Then we can copy and paste an existing container from this page and work with it. First, removing the grid widget, then placing the alter carousel widget below. Carousels enhance the visuals of your blog archive and helps with easy navigation. Pasting the widget style from demo and doing some minor changes to the widget. Then let's add another flex box below. Add a heading first. We will use this part to showcase our blog categories in short. So let's drop the category widget from Ultimate Post Kit here and then change the column number and widget style. We are also pasting the style from demo page and the categories look like this. Have to change the query later. Then adding another double container below Let's place Alter Grid on the right and Pasting Style from Demo. Just selecting the post category from Query. On the right, placing a heading and customizing the padding. Also, let's copy our divider into the last three headings here. Then updating the page real quick. Then we can drag and drop the social link widget by Ultimate Post Kit here. With these links, you can let your visitors quickly reach your social profiles from your web page. Once again, just pasting the widget style from demo. Then let's duplicate the tags container here. We can remove the tags, edit the heading for newsletter, and then drop the newsletter widget by Ultimate Post Kit in it. With this newsletter form, you can collect leads from your visitors at this point. Simple changes, and then pasting the widget style from demo. Also editing the background colors a bit. Now look at that, there is a blank space remaining here. So let's duplicate the banner part to add another poster at the bottom, and then increase the grid item limit. The next part is the footer of your blog. As you may have a global footer or any custom ones or templates, we are fast forwarding this part also. Once done, let's quickly track back our doings on this archive page before entering the site settings. Now let's quickly create a page and name it Archive, and then edit it with Elementor. Now simply go into the reading settings of WordPress and select Archive for Posts page, save the changes, and then open or reload the archive page. Right there, you can see the new archive template in action as a live page, and it's fully functional. Just take your time to check it. Just like how we did it, you can create awesome post archive pages for your blog site or blog part of your business website using Ultimate Post Kit add-in. Thanks for being with us. Please like, share, and subscribe to get more tutorials, tips, tricks, videos, and updates. Stay safe and see you next time.